hi dear friends good morning to one and all dear friends in the last part of the video of this online video lecture series we particularly discussed about the types of catalysis based upon the physical state of catalysis or the catalyst and that of reactant and the product and we came to know that particularly the two types of the catalysis is there the first one is called as homogeneous catalysis and the second type is called like the heterogeneous catalysis after the study of types of catalysis we also discussed about the theory of catalysis particularly we have discussed about the theory of homogeneous catalysis dear friends today in this part of the video now we are going to talk about we are going to study about the theory of heterogeneous catalysis how the heterogeneous catalysis take place and it leads to the increase in rate of reaction that we are going to discuss today in this part of the video dear friends if you will look or you will you will look at the uh, heterogeneous catalysis in the heterogeneous catalysis the catalyst is in different from than that of the reactant and the product particularly the catalyst is in solid form while the reactant and the product are either in the liquid or the gas phase this theory of heterogeneous catalysis is based upon the phenomenon of adsorption is very important so this theory of heterogeneous catalysis is explained with the help of phenomenon known as adsorption so adsorption is the accumulation of one substance on the surface of another substance and here the same phenomenon is absorbed observed in the study of heterogeneous catalysis and this adsorption theory in the study of heterogeneous catalysis is also known as the contact catalysis theory which was suggested by the faradays in the year of 1833 first and later it was modified by means of other scientists also the action of heterogeneous catalysis is due to the presence of free valences on its surface so this free valences of catalyst are responsible for the action of heterogeneous catalysis and this free valences offer an opportunity for the reactant molecule to undergo chemical reaction so whatever free valences of catalyst these valences are responsible for the chemical reaction of reactant molecule or this offer opportunity to reactant molecule to undergo chemical reaction on the surface of catalyst so here this catalyst or the free valences of catalyst is responsible for the rate of reaction and this can be shown and this free valences on the surface of nickel can be shown by means of in this diagram this diagram with the help of this diagram we will come to that how we can explain the free valences of catalyst on its surface and the situation of free valences can be understood with the help of this diagram actually atom which is present in the body of catalyst is joined to the surrounding atoms and hence its all valences will be satisfied or its all valences are satisfied so whatever molecules which are present in the body these are attached to the neighboring atoms and that's why for here for here suppose you can talk about this uh, nickel now this nickel is having the bond with neighboring nickel with this nickel this nickel this nickel and this nickel. so it forms the four it's all four valences are occupied by means of a neighboring atoms and that's why it's all valences are satisfied but if you look at the atoms which are present at the surface then these nickel atoms which are present at the surface the three bonds are uh, three valences are involved in the bonding but the fourth one you can see here fourth one is not having any bond so this is called as the free valency for this the we can say corner nickel now there are two free valency and atoms at the surface of catalyst that's why has a free valency directed in the four direction and here this is theory of heterogeneous catalysis according to the adsorption theory has a mechanism and different steps of the mechanism of theory of heterogeneous catalysis can be explained and in detail and the first step in the mechanism of theory of heterogeneous catalysis is called as the diffusion so diffusion 
In the diffusion, the reactive molecules in a gas phase or the liquid phase, when collide at the surface of the catalyst, then they get diffused at the free valency. For example, here we will discuss about this. Here it is shown by Mr. Pan this figure. So this is the surface. I will say this is the surface of the metal catalyst and this A and B these are the reactive molecules. Now this reactive molecules suppose it is either in the gas phase or the liquid phase you can consider these are the gas phase reacting molecules and now these are going to collide with the surface of the catalyst. Once this will collide with the surface of the catalyst now this gas molecules reactant gas molecule will get diffused at this free valency center at this free valency center which is the active site for the reaction of the reactor molecule and once this get diffused that's this diffusion is called like the adsorption and the second step after this is called like the adsorption so this is very important once the molecule get diffused they get adsorbed and definitely so this is the diffusion the second step is called like the adsorption and up to the adsorption definitely solid catalytic surface has active center that already i told you i have shown you which are nothing but the free valency and which are unsatisfied valency forces and at this centers at this free valency the reactive molecule get adsorbed and form a unimolecular layer or the unimolecular thickness on the surface of catalyst and the rate of reaction goes on increasing and the accumulation of the reactive molecules at the surface also goes on increasing. So this is very simple, which is the second step of the adsorption that can be shown here. And finally, once the reactive molecule get adsorbed on the surface of catalyst, so all the surface area get filled up by the reactive molecule and this adsorption being an exothermic process. Exothermic in the sense, heat is evolved, so it is given out that's why it is called as a hexothermic process and this heat of adsorption is responsible to decrease the energy of activation and this is also important so this because of this exothermic process the rate of or because of this exothermic process which is adsorption process it is responsible to decrease the energy of activation it decreases the energy of activation means definitely rate of reaction increases so because of the exothermic process suppose initial this is the process and this value is called as energy of activation but it decreases the value of energy of activation when this value goes on decreasing and it means that the rate of reaction increases so because of the exothermic adsorption process the heat of adsorption decreases the energy of activation and that's where the rate of reaction increases and this is the actual adsorption here you can see this a and b are the reacting this get uh, adsorbed on the surface of metal catalyst at the active centers or at the free valency center. Once this get adsorbed at the surface of metal catalyst, then these are responsible to form the complex and that complex is called as the activated complex. So these reactive molecules which are adsorbed are closely held at the catalytic surface means at the free valency center site sitting side by side they undergo interaction with the catalyst to form an activated complex and once this activated co complex formation takes place it is responsible to increase in its energy so definitely that's why whenever you will talk about the energy profile diagram then this is the point this point is responsible or uh, this point indicates the formation of activated complex and this activated complex is having the highest energy than the, the reactant as well as the product and that's why this formation of activated complex is responsible is accompanied by the increasing energy now here you can see this this is a partial bond formation between a and b because it is the product of b, whatever maybe these two are the maybe another species but these are also having the partial bond with the or catalyst at the active site so this complex is called like the activated complex which is having the highest energy than that of the reactor and the product and once this activated complex formation takes place it leads to the decomposition because of its highest energy from the 
product and this reactant molecules in the form of product diffuse away from the surface of catalyst and the heat of adsorption helps for this process because heat of adsorption you know this is nothing but the um, exothermic process so definitely it is least it is responsible to decrease the energy and that leads to the formation of product through the decomposition of activated complex or the activated uh, these species and now the surface of catalyst will be again ready to adsorb the another fresh reactive molecules and the process will be continued then the process will be gone this is here this is nothing but the shown here this a and b there is a complete bond formation between a and b and definitely this active site again free for the another reacting molecules and this is the, these are the products particularly and particularly that will be free from the surface of the catalyst and it will uh, it will respond it will be converted into product and they will leave they will leave this surface and this surface is ready for the another fresh reacting molecule and the process will be continued so from the above x discussion uh, there are some experimental fact observed during the study of this the theory of homogeneous and heterogeneous catalyst catalysis the first point is observed that free surface is increased or uh, the free surface can be increased by converting it into the fine powder it means that whenever the we want to increase the surface area because surface area is directly proportional to the rate of reaction and that's why the free surface is increased by converting the catalyst is in the form of powder fine powder and the active centers will be increased and once the active centers will be increased the rate of reaction will be also increased due to enhanced catalytic activity so this is one of the uh, experimental fact by which we can increase the rate of reaction for that purpose we have to convert this catalyst in the form of fine powder so due to this the active center will be increased and that will lead to the increase in catalytic activity ultimately the rate of reaction will be also increased again we can use the other substances known as the promoters so this promoters by getting adsorbed at the activity at the catalytic surface create unevenness of the surface and they are responsible to increase the active centers so these are nothing but the other substances than the catalyst but these are adsorbed at the catalytic surface and create unevenness of the surface and they reasons they leads to or the response they are responsible for the increasing active center and once the active center increase definitely the catalytic activity will increase and that leads to the rate of uh, reaction increased rate of reaction and this will not allow reactive molecule to get crowded this is very important on free valency process and this leads to the increasing rate of reaction and the adsorption process also the next the third next fact is observed is the use of poisons particularly these poisons are also called as the inhibitor because these are these are responsible to decrease the rate of reaction so these poisons preferentially get adsorbed at the surface before reacting molecules so this get adsorbed on the surface of catalyst before reacting molecule and hence the number of active centers get reduced and which decreases the catalytic activity and hence the rate of reaction will also reduce the and the selectivity of solid catalyst is usually analyzed in terms of electronic and the geometric factors and the actual activity and the selectivity under operational condition depends not only on the activation centers but these are also depends upon the total history of the catalyst including its preparation and the uh, process of the preparation also so these are these things are also important for the catalytic activity and satchler satchler classified the catalyst into four categories in order to catalyze the one reaction among number of the feasible reactions so this is the important experimental fact for which are observed during the study of theory of homogeneous and the heterogeneous catalysis particularly theory of heterogeneous catalysis so dear friends in this way 
Today we have discussed about the theory of heterogeneous catalysis and how we can control the rate of reaction with the help of different types of the catalyst or the promoters or the inhibitors that we discussed in this part of the video. Now dear friends, in the next part of the video, we would like to discuss some terms regarding the catalytic activity which are known as the promoter, inhibitor, poisons and that may be the catalytic support. So this is a catalytic activity. So we will discuss about these terms in the next part of the video. Thank you. Thank you very much.